our next performance will be from Patin K and David Ruiz, class of 2021, in a category called Duo Interpretation. Many of you may have heard of Duo Interpretation. It's a unique and very popular event because it involves two performers. But the catch is that they may not make eye contact, they may not touch one another, and they may not use props. Patin and David made their partnership debut in last year's NSDA Finals and have since then proven to be an exceptional team, securing spots in the finals of the Pensbury Tournament this year and the Metro Tournament, as well as being state champions in dual interpretation. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Mateen Kane and David Ruiz with the last days Next case, between heaven and hell, there's another place. Hope. Hope is located right here next to downtown Purgatory. Next case, they live. Now Purgatory, contrary to popular belief, have plumbing, bodegas, and they even got a movie theater and a little park you can go out their dogs at. Hope, well, we ain't got none of that, and it definitely don't smell good. Where is my damn bailiff? Here, sir. Call the next damn case. Yes, sir. Got in the kingdom of heaven and earth? versus dodging the implacable motion to appeal. Nine, next case. God in the kingdom of heaven and earth versus Benedict Arnold. Oh, hell no! Okay. God in the kingdom of heaven and earth versus Judas Iscariot. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Judas Iscariot. <laughs> Who brings me this crap? Today, we're quick to judge people based off their mistakes rather than their achievements. Historian James Foster sums this up perfectly, saying, When we demonize, we dehumanize. The infamous betrayer of Jesus Christ, Judas Iscariot, is generally perceived as the greedy, selfish, guilt-ridden disciple Jesus. We portray Judas as a villain in the story of Jesus Christ. But what many people don't see is the broken shell of a good man that he truly is. Who ends up hanging himself over the guilt of betraying and losing one of his closest friends. And for that guilt, he suffers a punishment he never deserved. The Last, last Days of Judas Iscariot by Stephen Adley Gerdes. Next witness, Satan! Next witness, Satan! Now, Mr. Satan, did you have any conversation with Judas Iscariot prior to selling out of Jesus Christ? Oh, um, no, I did not. <laughs> Very funny, how about after? I spoke to him, yeah. Care to share? Not a problem. I appeared to Mr. Scary at a bar and grill shortly after the night in question. <laughs> he appeared to have already taken full advantage of the happy hour. Hello, my friend, how are you this evening? <laughs> how am I this evening? Were you a mater d man? <laughs> Clementine. I'm in time of Cappadocia. Yeah, why don't you go back home to Cappadocia, okay? Dosha! Cappadocia. Well, let me ask you something, Cappadocia. Do I look like I care about where you're from? Just leave me alone. Fine. I will. Thanks for the advice. Hey, where are you going? It seems you prefer to be alone. What are you saying? You look some kind of lone wolf to you? What do you need, a light or something? Well, yeah, actually, thanks. Hey, what's your name? Clementine of Cappadocia. Well, um, Judas. Judas is scary, maybe. Nope. <laughs> you don't get around much, do you? Nah. Hey, man, if I told you something corny, would you think I was like a, a jerk? Oh, not at all. <laughs> I'm uh, mildly afraid of uh, going to hell. Uh, why exactly? <laughs> An incident last night, uh, a miscalculation on my part. Well, one thing I can tell you about hell, as an eternal destination, of course, it's vastly underrated. And hell is nothing more than the absence of God. If you're looking for a good charge, it's not a bad thing at all. But hey, I don't worry about going to hell. Even if I did something a little controversial. Oh, God understands. Even if someone were to betray, for example, the Messiah. 
<laughs> you mean the, the, the Messiah Messiah? You'd say the guy screwed, right? Uh, well, I really couldn't say, but I guess I'd say that if this clown were to betray uh, the Messiah, <laughs> I'd say it would have been better if he had never been born. Never been born? Hey, you ask. Mr. Satan, you've had a long standing feud with God, correct? Uh, no, I love God. <laughs> <laughs> you love God? Why do you love God? I mean, what's there not to love? Specifically, Mr. Satan, what specifically do you love about God? Hmm. I don't know where. Pick a spot! I love God because He is all forgiving and all powerful. I love God because His justice. Perfect. I love God, because God loves me. God loves you. Very, very much. Gift baskets on Christmas. All my greetings on all of the major holidays. <laughs> Mr. Satan, does God love Judas Iscariot, yes or no? Um, God loves everybody. Yet Judas is in hell. <laughs> what use is God's love to my client if he's allowed to languish in damnation? Your client is allowed to leave whenever he wants. In fact, you know I wish he would? I could use the room. <laughs> That's not true and you know it. The real truth is that God's love is conditional, isn't it? You failed to meet God's conditions and he threw you in the trash. Judas failed and I was in a catatonic stupor. God's love is conditional, which renders it useless and unworthy. Whoa, whoa. I am personally very, very sorry you feel that way. Nothing further. Court is now dismissed. Some lowly, distant relative, too cheap to buy a fine for his own wedding, suddenly runs out of booze, presto tango, and it was all Miller time and all canon. <laughs> but when I needed you, where were you, Jesus? Huh? You forgave Peter and Thomas. You raised Lazarus from the dead. But what about me? Judas. I made a mistake, and if that was wrong, you should have told me. And if a broken heart was a sufficient reason to hang, you should have told me that too. All I know is that you left me broken, unfixable. All I did was love you, and now I'm here. Judas. What if I were to tell you that you were not 
here. That you are here with me in my kingdom and that you have been here since the morning of my ascension and that you have never left. Judas, a thousand strangers spit on me, kick me, pass it by. I will smile. But if the brother of my heart gives me only a hard passing look, I will not sleep until the day he loves me again. I will never love you. If you don't love me, why are you here? No. Judas, don't you know what would happen the very instant you got down on your knees? Why on my knees? I've been on my knees my whole life. You left me. I, I, I never left you. I would have never believed that he could have left me. That you didn't love me. Just, just, I, I, I do love you. Why couldn't you make me good enough so that you could love me? Judas, please. Take my hands. Where are they? I can't see them. They're right here. Hey, don't, don't leave me! Hey, I'm right here. I can't. I, I, I love you, Judas. I can't. Please, love me, Judas. I can't. 